Because a lot Raging of Bull was much <laughs> Raging Bull's actually our lowest score, by the way. Ever? Wow. Wow. Really? Ever. Impressive. It deserves it. I swear. I forgot. I was watching a movie, and they're like, where'd you get the inspiration for like doing that role? And one of the things they said was like Raging Bull, that they watched that over and I over. I that movie. <laughs> what that was movie the rock? Maybe it was Nicolas Cage. What? Uh, I'm surprised. Like, well, for everybody no, else, Raw but was you. Great. No, yeah, Raw is fantastic. I'd be Raw. No, I think Raw well. went for something interesting. Well, Raw, we got a five point two five. Right. What's it? I was about to say, what's his average though? And yeah, I know in part it's like up because you were putting it up, but I don't. Birdemic got a three point seven. Yeah, Birdemic. It's because you're damn lost. one. Yeah. So yeah, uh, yeah. Raging Bull got lower than Birdemic. Yeah. yeah. Three point. What did I just say? Three. Three point two five for Birdemic. No, three point seven five for Birdemic, and three Raging five. Bull was three. Point one two, damn! Like that almost got below three. <laughs> oh, we put that worse than Birdemic. That is <laughs> Col- collectively. I blame Price for inflating Birdemic score somehow to make it. No, that's, it, that's what happened. He gave it a damn da, nine. Da, da, da. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> what was it? Anyway, I'll be right back with you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's that chicken uh, gizzard. Ew. I don't know what I said. Can this be a gizzard? Can this yeah, be yeah, like called like an effing movie podcast quickie? Or <laughs> yeah. something as like long that? as you introduce only it. If yeah. you, only if you introduce it. God knows I don't do quickies, Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> Bryce is like, wait, what qualifies? Oops. Yeah. That's what he says. Go ahead, Bryce. Intro it up. All right. Cheers up. Works for me. Welcome, everyone, to the newest edition Something. of the effing movie podcast, the effing movie podcast quickie. Um, we Leo. recorded this and forgot everything about it, so you're going to get a quick review of this movie. It's Nathan, Dylan, Mason, and me. You don't need my name. It doesn't matter. It's Price. So let's get this quickie <laughs> on the road. Oh Nathan, what is this movie about? Uh, well, first off, the movie is Kingdom of Heaven. Nah. And I did not introduce the movie. God, you're so sloppy. <laughs> it didn't even introduce the movie, no. uh, but that's fine. So We're being quick. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to be <laughs> interrupted. <Yeah. laughs> All right, so this is about a blacksmith that murders a priest and then joins the crusade, ends up in Jerusalem, meets the king of Jerusalem, um, inherits the like kingdom of his father despite being a bastard, and uh, ultimately is just like this, I'm the good guy no matter what, like the kingdom burns for his decisions um, if he had just done a little bit of evil, basically he could have done a lot of good, but he just doesn't because he doesn't want to tarnish his soul right. despite having killed a fucking priest yeah. at the start of this movie. Well, he got all the yeah. evil out early. Yeah, yeah. So also, that, that's kind of the gist of it. Ava Green doesn't get her titties out in the regular version of this movie, so keep that's that in mind. We did. We, I think we, that we, plays in Dylan's score. Realize that. that will affect my score for the version I want. The one time I don't watch an extended cut, and it's the one with the boobs. From what I remember about this movie, my summary of this movie is very long and boring. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, I mean, ultimately, it's a very long movie um, that doesn't say a whole lot, but it's got good art direction. Um, it, it, does, it does a thing that you've seen a lot in a lot of movies at this point, but back then maybe it wasn't as uh, pervasive, yeah. the big battle with the lots of people. Uh, like, this movie is... Super big budget. They spent like, well, I think it was like three hundred thousand dollars on just flags. Yeah. Flags. And they yeah. had like, they literally had Tapestry the the yeah. army of one of the princes of a kingdom in that local area that they were filming join in to like be extras on this movie, and they all had custom made outfits and everything too. Like it, there was the just the sheer amount of. Things made to make this movie is immense, and it does have a lot of good scenes. Mm-hmm. All of them are fight scenes for the most part. Yes, that yeah. that's where this movie was doing a lot. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah, no, because I I think that in scale and presentation, it was doing the most. It was all yeah. style, no necessarily substance. And I remember that being my biggest critique of the movie was that there are a lot of really cool ideas, and the cinematography gets to show off a lot of like the the realistic ex- applications of like sieging a city and putting a whole army together and doing all that which is cool but the action during like the fights were pretty lackluster and it just you could tell action choreography hadn't really evolved that big in, in giant scale and coming from you know in our day and age where game of thrones has existed and and so many other big battle things have occurred it, it felt really underwhelming um overall although i do think that there is some cool style stuff there i do like seeing what's presented on screen even if I know that the storyline and the characters and all that are very non-existent to me, so 
It's it's a skeleton without a heart in a lot of ways, but yeah, I mean the fight scenes were cool. Like even at the very very beginning, which I think we talked about the first time, where mm-hmm. like as soon as he goes with Liam Neeson's character. Liam Neeson's crew just gets slaughtered right away. <laughs> Fifteen minutes in, you get Liam Neeson's character. Twenty minutes in, Liam Neeson's fans all die. Yeah, <laughs> and then shortly, very shortly after. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the city siege at the very end was almost like what the big build-up was for, and then finally you, you do get that, but the problem was all throughout you have Eva Green, which is just a little Too cool. love interest that, that, that kind of sort of matters, but mostly doesn't. Um... It shows her like going through poverty and then not yeah. there towards the end. Um, yeah, I yeah. feel like she was a, a needlessly complicated character. Mm. Like she, I feel like it could have been better too. It's just a matter of like I guess what they gave her and like yeah. the screen time that they gave her. I don't know, but yeah, um, yeah. Looks wise, it did look good. Mm-hmm. The characters are also very one dimensional. I mean, oh, th- there's nothing so. to them. Like, Orlando Bloom might as well have an angel halo above his head, and the evil guys may, may as well just be twisting their mustaches the whole time. Yeah. Like, the guy, there's no that, depth. That was his to name, this. right? The, the main villain. Oh, Gee. Gee. That's right. Gee. Gee. Yeah. 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 He's, he is yeah. awful. Like, he yeah. kills the envoy for some reason. Like, he's just. Just evil for evil's awful. sake. Like, trying as hard as he could to provoke the Muslims into attacking Jerusalem. And he succeeded. Eventually. And then it went bad. Who was who Guy's sidekick? The one you Oh, the, the pudgy redhead? guy. Yeah, the pudgy redhead who gets bitch slapped by the leopard. The king. one who just wants war. Yeah. To just fight. War! For war! War! <laughs> yeah, war was the one thing he got wrote on script and he said, I understand the assignment. <laughs> and uh, he went from there. But anyway, um, that's that's the gist of it. Critics. Yeah. What did they? I don't care. Who cares? <laughs> yeah, uh, we are we're critics. Start your scores. I'll look up the critics. Let's do the quickies, and I'll start us off. I give this movie a two because I really didn't enjoy it. Wasn't original. Way too long. Characters are awful. Two for poo for price. Two for poo. <laughs> uh, yeah, this movie was overall very unenjoyable. Um, and even if you were to shorten it up, it. I mean, you would still want the action scenes, but the storyline was already so just flushed out for no real reason anyway. Um, I think it speaks a lot of most of us don't remember much from it just besides the action scenes it's been about a month and we feel like we've forgotten most yeah, of it yeah so that that says a lot right there uh, so I give it a 5 I don't think that it was oh gosh I don't know I'll never like I would rock Troy Alexander at, um, 300 for that matter I'd watch any of those uh-huh. over and over 300 versus... at least has style to it and new uh, it's and yeah. New well, three hundred is almost too much style. Yeah, it's it's, it's actually it's oh, it's, it's almost the same problem. But there's it's, enough. It's, honestly, my, it's, my, yeah, favorite, my favorite similar. game is Persona Five. So you know, there's not uh, enough style in the world oh, for shut me. Shut up! Mm-hmm. Shut up! All right. Uh, <laughs> shut up about the sun. Yeah, I give it a five. I uh, I ordered a a burger fully dressed, and it just came out with a well done. The grilled cheese. Yeah, it came out with a grilled cheese, <laughs> which is ironic because Mason didn't give me a grilled cheese. I love grilled cheese. I know. Uh, um, yeah, it's yeah. So for me. I landed at a six. I, I feel like there was a little bit more heart to it than I, than I guess everybody else felt. But it also wasn't like worth the time spent with it. Um, Were you playing Elden Ring too while you were watching? <laughs> yeah. Well, no, I, I mean, at the time, yeah. Like, yeah. Like so, he didn't really it, even watch. You're it asking this. like. I was doing something around the time of Elden Ring. Well, I well, had yeah, to have been like, doing it while playing Elden Ring. Yeah, while you were doing it. Your time Otherwise, was I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, and as far as, like, scores from uh, critics, 39%. They loved it. Wow. Audience, <laughs> audience gave it a 72%, though. I For that time, I could see where audiences would be wowed by it. It's a big it. disparity. Well, it, yeah, that's a huge You had a good cast. I mean, the, the cast the ca- was The cast good. was well enough, and then you have, like, Spectacle and Furt's time... I'm not. Now it's the problem of holding it to modern day, and like the action just isn't evolved in the same way. And this movie didn't do anything revolutionary enough for me to say we should look at it in a time capsule. Like <laughs> it just doesn't deserve it. It so, stays in the ground. Yeah, this was probably not great then either, based on even seventy-two percent of audiences thought it was bad. Yeah, but uh, but yeah, so. I mean that's that's kind of our quick blaze through of this. <laughs> yeah, so you call, we call this the and movie squirt. Oh my god. I like it. Oh my god. It's just, Don't hashtag that. It's original. F and squirt. Hashtag F and squirt. 
Um, most of us aren't on Twitter anyway, so that's fine. We won't be able to get it tracking. Um, but if you like the short-term content, well, we're probably not going to continue to do it. But um, if you like it, do let us know. Maybe we'll consider it whenever we uh, have more technical difficulties than we do. Like many more swears, the same thing. this um, whole ordeal was kind of a mistake. Yeah. You know, a lot of anticipation uh, and then really underwhelming like the performance. the soda name Squirt. <laughs> this was a mistake. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's our show. Make sure to tune in next week for whatever it was. Uh, it was well, Coda, uh, but we did it. Yeah, Coda. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah, so next week, already Coda's out. already out. All right, yeah. go watch Coda. For it's next a week, go review. watch last week's movie. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's, it's Law of Murph or the Time Paradox. All right, anyway, bye, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit the bell. Hit the bell. Thank you. And, uh, yeah, comment below if you like short-term content because we still won't do it for you. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Once you said squirt, it was over. Yeah, yeah. It was. I mean, we can't. If yeah. we weren't already off the rails, the we were at that moment. <laughs>